A first edition, first impression of Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this, uh, uh, one of the noted rarities of 19th century fiction. Um, as you can see, it's in three volumes, published in three volumes in this rather attractive violet wavy grain cloth. You can see the wave of the grain there. And uh, this is a first edition, first impression. It's an odd book in that there were, in the first instance, five what are called editions, all published in the same year. And this is the first, which has no edition statement on the title page. It just says, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens in three volumes. And this is volume one. And then at the foot, the publishers, London, Chapman and Hall, 1861. So we have uh, a first edition. But in fact, uh, for a long time, it was thought that all five uh, so-called editions were in, in fact one single edition. But it's now been shown that although the type was set up in, in, uh, to print the first edition, they were actually printed sequentially. And all the copies of the first impression, like this one, were printed first. And there are various tiny little details of text um, that we can demonstrate that this is a first edition. I don't have time to show you them all on film, and it would be very boring if I did. So I'd refer you to our website for that, where you'll find a full description of that and the points um, we can uh, give you. But uh, the point about this book, uh, its rarity, is that the whole of the first impression was to be sent to Moody's circulating library uh, for them to lend out to the general public. It was, it was one of Dickens' later um, books, and uh, they were expecting a great success. Now, as we go down the cloth there, you just see the discoloration there, just a little brown against the violet of the cloth. And that is the glue that's left when the Moody's labels are taken away. But you can see it hasn't really damaged the cloth in any way. It's just left that little mark. And nor has this copy been read to pieces. Most of the copies that went into Moody's were damaged by excessive reading. But it looks as if, for whatever reason, this copy, which is clean and fresh, perhaps wasn't even lent out at all. I don't know. There's um, not much evidence either way. But this is Dickens' masterpiece. It's one of his hardest books to get in this kind of collector's condition. Um, if we hold it up again and look at the three volumes together, you'll see the heads of the spine here are in good shape. There's just a, a little rubbing there, but really very little. And again, at the foot of the spine, just tiny little nicks, inevitable to the cloth where uh, the book sits down onto the cloth. And it, it, there's just tiny little nicks there. Um, but it has not been restored, as many copies of this book have to be after they've been uh, in the circulating libraries. And really, very fresh, very pleasing copy of this seminal Dickens title. So for full details of this book and many others, please see our website.